Hi, it's Will from StoneTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make Saruman's staff from Lord of the Rings. Fun and easy project. I give you the template, and I show you a couple of different alternatives for making the glass sphere in the middle. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If not, hit that button! Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model rockets, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is make this sphere or globe that goes in the middle of the staff. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. This is Instamorph. And the size that you make of it, whatever, however you make it, is about like this. There's a, I have a circle in the template to show you the size to make it, which makes it easy for you. So we'll start with the Instamorph, and uh, if you watched my most recent project, the one with the Game of Thrones dagger, we've done the Instamorph uh, before, and we really like it. And I'm going to leave this real time to show you how quick and easy this is. You pour about 8 ounces of Instamorph in, a, in hot water, well, hot, 140 degrees isn't that hot. And you just let it sit, and it turns crystal clear. And this is real time, I'm not cutting this video or editing it or anything. And see how it's getting crystal clear real quick? It's almost ready to go. Almost ready to be molded into any shape you want to shape it. See? Take it out of the water, shake off the excess water, and you can start shaping it. So, um, I'm going to show you uh, another way that you can make the globe for this too, but with the Instamorph you can roll it out like this to get it nice and spherical. You work it some more, reheat it if need to, if you need to do that. You know, it's, it's really flexible stuff, really nice. Um, so now here's another way you can do it. Um, wrap, make yourself a ball out of aluminum foil, crumpled up, and make it pretty solid and strong for strength. About the size that you want it, and then we can cover it with some kind of a material. And here's two different ones I'll show you. We can use some kind of a Primo, which is an oven baked clay, which we're going to use here. Or you can use DAS, which is air dried clay. And then you can Cover it with the ass and it, let it dry and it's done. But we're going to go with the Primo so I can show you that process too. Um, soften it up with your hands and then roll it out like you're rolling out a pancake or something or a, you know, a pie lid, <laughs> a pie crust, right? Roll it out big enough so you can stretch it over your aluminum foil ball. And <clears throat> nice thing about the aluminum foil is it saves the clay. You don't have to use so much of the Primo and it'll make it much easier to bake. If that were a solid ball, it would be very difficult to actually bake it. So keep working it. You can roll it too, add some more if need be, until you get it the shape you want. And then, so if this stuff is real easy, you put it in the oven for 275, at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, for 30 minutes. And that's good. So that's two different ways you can make the globe. Uh, some other things you can do is use a styrofoam ball. You can buy those in Arts and Crafts store. You can even use a tennis ball that's about the right size and paint that white. So there you go. It's good to go. It's still hot, but it's now it's hardened. It's like porcelain. Now, let's, let's make the rest of the staff. In the template, I have the fin size here. And see this right here? Cut to that outer dot dashed line. Because all that excess there is so we can custom cut these blades to fit the exact size of this globe that you make. So cut out the two pieces of the template and tape them together like this. And then trace that out on either foam board or cardboard. Cardboard works just fine for this tutorial too. And trace four of them. And then cut them out. And if you're using foam board, let me give you a tip on cutting foam board. You make three passes for a nice smooth cut. The first pass here cuts through the top layer of paper. The second pass, you press a little harder and you cut through the foam. And then the third pass is you press all the way down and you cut through the bottom layer of paper. And that's how you make nice clean cuts in foam board. So there you go. There's one of our uh, blades or fins. And there's the four of them. Now, I'm using an inch and a quarter inch, uh, one and a quarter inch dowel. You can use a one and a quarter, one and a half inch, somewhere around there. You can use a broomstick or a rake handle. Cut it to the length you want. Mine is about five feet in length. And then glue your sphere to the end of it like this. And we're going to go with the Instamorph. I like that one a little bit better. 
Hakala will be fine for this because the, the fins that we made will hold that globe in place very strongly. So now measure and cut your fins so they fit on the sphere well. But what you do is you put it on there and you um, try it, cut it a little more, cut a little bit, cut a little more, try it again, like that, until it fits nice, right like this, nice. A little bit more cutting I should do on this one. And once you get it where you want it, glue it in the way you want it, glue it in place. Hot glue is nice for this. Really easy project. Um, if you learn a new technique when you're making the globe, then good for you. That's uh, something new for you. And then uh, glue on the other four. There's the second fin. And notice how I've put it, I've hung the whole thing over the edge of a table now to make it easy to work with. Because otherwise, where do you put that fin that's already glued? The third fin, and then the fourth fin. And that's it, we're done. Very nice, I like it. This is a neat project, you can do this in a couple of hours. Remember, I have the template for you, for those fins. Painting, got a lot of options. I even considered almost doing Plasti Dip. A black plastic dip would work fine. But do the major areas with a large paintbrush of black. I'm just using a plain acrylic, inexpensive acrylic. And then do the detail work around the globe with a smaller brush so it looks nice. I like it. Now let me show you another thing. I have a lot of fun with this handle. And you can adorn the handle with all kinds of stuff. If you want, you don't have to paint the handle, you can wrap it in black electrical tape or wrap some of it in black electrical tape. It makes, give it an, it's an easy way to do it and um, it also gives it a nice feel for your hand. To finish it off, what do we do? Let's seal it with something. If you have a spray on sealant, go right ahead and seal it. I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear because I like the finish it gives us. And that's it, you're all done. You have made Saruman staff. staff. Very good. If you make this, send me a picture. I will send you a certificate of contribution and put the picture on my website. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.